So I'm here inside of Adobe InDesign where I'm currently working on this brochure here for my brand new Altura wearable sports watch. And of course I'm using a couple of different colors. So my brand guidelines dictate that I should be using this type of blue and this type of green. And so you can see that color being applied everywhere throughout the document. Now, if I take a look at the swatches panel, you can see that from here, these are the colors I'm currently using within my branding and within this document. And I would like to add one additional color. Now I have a good sense of the color that I would like to add, but if I go ahead and choose the new color swatch option, it's sometimes a bit confusing to me just to kind of know which slider I should be moving into which direction in order to get to that exact color. So if I go here, then things start to become redder. So if I go in here, then this turns to be more yellow. So if I now I can go into the greens, some people still seem to struggle with this. And so for that, and for those people, what we can do is we can actually change here from this color mode section. And now we can just scroll up and we can choose HSB. So HSB stands for hue, saturation, and brightness. You might have seen this before and where it is re referred to as hue, saturation, and lightness, which is the exact same thing. So the principle is very easy. What you can do is on a 360 degree wheel, you basically choose the hue. So basically like, like the color tint that you are looking for. Let's say I'm gonna go and end up in the greens here somewhere. Then we have the saturation slider, as in we are gonna go from a very washed out, desaturated color, all the way back up to a very saturated color. And then we have the brightness option, which is basically taking that exact same color and then just darkening or lighting that color up. And so while I'm doing this, you can see that there's actually a warning message that appears. And if you move your cursor on top of it, it says that this color is currently out of gamut. So this means that if I were to try and print this color, it would be out of gamut. It's basically not printable. So because of that, it allows me just to click on this option and it will basically try and go to the nearest printable equivalent of that color. So InDesign is actually helping me out by jumping to the nearest printable version of that same color. Now, of course, you do not need to accept this here. You can always still go back and say, you know what, I do want to go and go overboard with this. But of course, if you go ahead and break the rules, then of course you will get that same message saying, no, you're going overboard. And once you have this little yellow out of gamut warning, this means that you're gonna end up having very unpredictable colors if you do go to print. Now, keep in mind that the HSB model is a screen model. So this means that this is basically using RGB colors. So this means that if you were to just click OK, then that swatch will be using HSB values. But under the hood, it's just a different way of saying that this is an RGB swatch. So this means that you would have to go back by double clicking. And then of course, you would have to change that back to CMYK. Now, you can always do that in one movement as well. So if I could just remove that one color and try and start a new here. So if I, let's say, switch to HSB and now try and find that one color I like, let's say it's something like this here. Yes, it's still HSB, but if you leave these settings as they are and then change back to the CMYK color space, it will actually convert those colors back to CMYK values. And now, of course, it's just a matter of maybe kind of rounding these off just a little bit. Let's say I'm gonna go for 40, 10, and 17, and I still have the color I'm looking for. And then it's just a matter of just clicking OK, and now you've added your CMYK color. Now, the second option I would like to show you is what you can do today to find colors that you have used before in this document. So the thing is that if I were to take a look at, let's say this blue color here, which I believe is this color swatch, okay? So the thing is that what can I do to find and replace that color? Let's just say that I want everything that is blue like I have here, this blue here. What if I want to replace everything that is currently using this swatch with this swatch here? So what we tend to do is this, we would delete one swatch 
and then the enzyme would say, oh no, you're using the swatch and the enzyme is panicking. And then you can say that you want to replace that with a different swatch and it will just basically throw this one out and it will replace that with the other swatch, which is great. But the problem is I just, you know, I just deleted the actual swatch. I just, let's go back and, and do this here. What I wanted to do was just replace those values, but I did not want to edit the original swatches. And of course, I did not want to remove those swatches. So what can we do today? What you do is the following. You right click on any of these swatches and then you choose find this color. Now, when you do this, it will trigger the find change window. And as you can see here, there's actually a brand new category where you can find colors and then change those colors. Now, normally you would be looking for text if you're in this window, right? So if you were to close this and then press Command F on the keyboard or Control F on Windows, then you can now just navigate manually to the color tab and you can now click to select any of the swatches that you currently have in place in this document. Now, this is one way of doing it. Now, of course, if you right click here and then choose find this color, it will actually go ahead and do that for you and load in that color automatically. It's just basically a shortcut to get to that point. And so with that, you can choose to change that color into something different. So if I were to go back and select that other color, with that, I can actually now choose to make that change. Now, keep in mind that there's a tint range as well. So this means that for now, I'm gonna try and find anything that's using this swatch in any tint value. So if I only want to change the color of the swatch going from zero to say 60%, it's just a matter of changing those values and it will just do exactly that. Now for now, I do want to change everything. So I'm just gonna put it back at 100%. Now you can change to a certain tint as well if you want to. And of course you can choose to include all open documents and maybe exclude certain types of frames. So for now, I'm actually happy with this. I'm just gonna choose change all it found five instances i'll choose okay as you can clearly see from the background it has changed these colors right now so keep in mind that these settings only work for colors that you have added uh, inside of the swatches panel so this means that if you were to have a color let's say i'm going to just double click this i'm just going to click okay by adding or creating a color that was not part of the list here okay so if you now press Command F to go back to that color option here, if you now go here in this list, you will see that you will see that color here being listed at the bottom. But of course, it's always the best thing or a good practice just to have that color listed inside of the swatches panel as well. So what you could potentially do is go to the panel menu and then just choose add unnamed colors, which will do exactly that. And now it's just a matter of right clicking and then choosing find this color. And now you have a lot more control over this process. So there you have it, dynamically switching swatches and adding HSB color swatches as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.